Hey guys, this is Dave from Nurse Shanks, and in today's video, we're going to go over how to apply a tourniquet and tips and tricks to use while you're applying a tourniquet either for drawing blood or starting an IV, so stay tuned. All right guys, this is how you're going to tie a tourniquet. So first you're going to have the patient put their arm above the tourniquet. You're going to slide it up to the point at which you want it. So for an AC stick or something, you probably want to go just a couple inches above where you plan to put your needle in. So right about here is good. So you're going to take this and you're going to start by just kind of laying it like that. Grab each end opposite to where it's coming around the arm with the hand. Kind of give it a little bit of a stretch. And now we're gonna cross this one over and then we're gonna pull it under like that. This is a nice quick release knot. So now, you know, the vein will be coming up here and we can feel it. And then when you're ready to get rid of it, all you have to do is pull right here and it's gonna come undone with one little pull. So we'll do this again, come over like this Pull this one over and then just pull it right under. All right, guys, so we tried to do a little bit of a close up and some slow mo to help you see this better. So, we're gonna put the tourniquet a couple inches above our site that we're gonna stick. We're gonna cross the ends over and then what I do right here is I'm going to lift the one that we're going to be going underneath kind of with my thumb. You can see how I have it tucked under like that. And then to help push it under, I kind of use my index finger to push that a little bit through as I'm pulling. And right there is exactly the kind of knot that you're going to want because this is a nice quick release knot. Um, so when you're ready, all you have to do is just pull on one of the tabs that you tucked under and the thing will release really easily like that. All right, guys, I hope you were able to see what we were doing with that demonstration. Now I kind of want to go over some of the things that I suggest that you do when you're applying a tourniquet. And there's kind of a difference when it comes to either drawing blood or uh, starting an IV. So depending on which one you're doing, I think you might want to do your tourniquets a little bit different. So one of my first rules is I think that you should apply the tourniquet as lightly as possible. The reason is you want to, to get the veins to pop up so you can see them. So you, you, know, you stick uh, and you actually hit the vein. But at the same time, you don't want to make it too tight. That one, it's really uncomfortable for your patient. But also, if you put too much pressure in that vein, it's going to be easier um, to blow the vein if you accidentally like go a little off or something like that. Because the more pressure that the vein has, the more easily it might pop when you poke it with a needle. So just realize, you know, you want to have the tourniquet on as little as possible. Um, and this kind of brings me into the second thing. Uh, now this will differ if you're starting an IV versus drawing blood, because if you're drawing blood, you have to kind of leave the tourniquet on um, what, the whole time while you're drawing your tubes. But if you're starting an IV, and this is something I see a lot of new people not do, um, is as soon as they get the flash, they leave the tourniquet on until they're completely done with the IV. A lot of people do this, and it doesn't always um, end up badly, but I think you're gonna increase your chances of blowing a vein. Um, and what I do instead is, as soon as I get that flash and I know the tip of the catheter is in the vein, I pop the tourniquet off um, because I already know that I'm in the right spot. So I really don't need all that pressure anymore and I don't need that vein to stay super inflated because I'm already in it. So in order to decrease the pressure in the area that I'm pushing something into so that the vein doesn't pop, you know, you pop that tourniquet and then you're able to still, you know, navigate your catheter all the way into the vein. Um, so don't worry about like you're not going to be able to get it all the way in. Um, if you have the flash, you should be safe to pop your tourniquet. Um, so that's something I will do as well. Um, and then, you know, just a general rule of thumb, wherever you're trying to stick, um, you know, a vein, you should always try to put the tourniquet like a couple inches above that. Um, because if you, let's say you just put it on like the bicep area because you th thought you were gonna get an AC but then you didn't see anything so you start moving down the arm and you're looking at the hand but the tourniquet's still way up at the AC you know you're gonna have uh, a less efficient you know backup of blood um, all the way down in the hand veins so um, what I would do is just take the tourniquet off and then you know put it a couple inches above where you're currently looking at 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of how to put a tourniquet on and a couple of tricks to use while you're doing that. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.